Hi guys, welcome to another What's in my bag video. Some months ago I have posted to my channel a video about bags that I have purchased from Tad Baker London. I had purchased three bags, I still have all the three bags, two of them are in this video, while another one I had posted a What's in my bag video with it. Um, today I just wanted to come here to do another what's in my bag video in this bag but I just wanted to do also sort of a little bit of a review about these bags since I have had them for quite some time. Um, I'm very happy with these bags with the design with the color and even with the quality. I have used that one for a very long time even for work and it worked a lot and it was a little bit abused and I was happy with it and everything was amazing but now I am also using this one and I found that one of my complaints actually the only complaint that I have is uh, the same for both of the bags so as I said the bags are very good quality beautiful designs but they are not that much flexible. As you can see from the handles, you can even hear them um, when I move them. They are not flexible at all. They are quite hard. The material of the bags is very hard. And when I kept these on my shoulders, it actually made me feel a bit of pain because you can see it. They don't move easily. And it's hard. It's a very, very hard material. Other than that, I don't have anything to say. They are spacious. I have managed to put everything in this bag. As you can see, it is filled to the brim, but I'm happy with it. I'm also very happy with these bows here. You see how cute that is? And this is sort of a trademark for the uh, Tad Baker bags because almost all the bags do have these bows and I fell in love um, first and foremost with these bows. Anyways, I am going to take you through my bag and I'm going to show you what I have in here. Let me move a bit um, the bag, the other one, and I'll show you what I have in here. So the first thing that I have on top is a huge scarf. This is what I call a blanket because it's such a huge scarf that it actually will cover you like a blanket. And then this cold weather is actually what I need because it has been so so cold lately and I need one of these. Um, I have been out without my scarf and oh my god it was so so cold that I couldn't resist out there. So this is a must in my bag at this time. Then what I have are also my black gloves and yes these are my go-to's i have so many gloves but i always gravitate towards these and this is the rest of the contents of my bag here i have my usual sunglasses that i have shown you in so many what's in my bag videos and these are my favorite aviator sunglasses i do keep them in this pouch but also in a plastic pouch um, I have my usual wipes. These are the Hankies antibacterial wipes. And I have a pocket, a new one for my tissues. This is something I have got from Peacocks and I fell in love with it because as you can see, it changes also the color. It's a purple color, but it does change color whenever um, you move the pocket. Um, I am putting my tissues in this pocket because I had to change the previous Hello Kitty pocket that so many of you have asked me about it. Um, I had to change it because the wear and tear of it just started getting to it and I had repaired it so, so many times that I couldn't do it anymore. So I did purchase this um, pocket and I am keeping my tissues as you can see in it. Um, what else do I have? The usual contents. Um, here I have my tech pocket where I usually have my phone and all the cords and everything. My portable battery charger. It's in this pocket. And then I have my stationary pouch. As you can see, it's so hard that it's also hard to keep it standing. 
Um, this is the usual pouch that I have for all the stationery and everything that I have. I have my measuring tape, I have my highlighters, my um, correction tape, and all the rest of it. You have seen this pouch also in another What's in My Bag video. Um, another thing that I have is the foldable tote bag. I said many times that I needed to change this, but I didn't yet because I still need to find the other one and I can't find it. This is why I'm still keeping this one. But I have another one which is purple. This is my absolute recent favorite wallet and this is the purple one. And yes, it's so cute. It seems like it's a fairy wallet, but it's not. It's the design, it's so beautiful. Um, here I have my membership card pocket. I did go through this, you see it? It's slimmer than it was before. And yes, now it's not that heavy. I did remove a bunch of cards that I don't need anymore to be in there. Um, I had a lot of things in it, cards, papers, so I cleaned it up very well. I did a huge decluttering of this. Um, I have my prescription glasses in this one here, my usual Zennies, and I have my, let me show you, my oversized prescription glasses, my favorite. Um, I love oversized prescription glasses. Even my sunglasses are actually oversized. I love those. Um, here I have a rose gold S mirror. I did purchase this from New Look some time ago and it matches completely both the interior of my bag and all the other pouches. So why not? I'm in love with rose gold lately. I have been obsessed with it for a very, very long time. You can see what remains in there. This is my makeup pouch. I have shown you this one too. And I have so many things in there. All the makeup that I can hold in this pouch, it will go there. Why do I have all this makeup? I still don't know, but I'm afraid to go out without it. The pouch is wonderful. I love it. So, so beautiful. Um, the glittery, but it's not glittery. It actually seems to be um, glitter, but how can I explain that? It's glittery, but you won't feel the glitters. I don't know. Probably it has a specific coat or something that won't make the glitters fall because if the glitters could be touched and they would fall, I would have not purchased it. My anxiety would have gone a lot high. So no, thank you. Next, it's my planner, my favorite planner of all time. I'm so in love with this planner. I will never change it probably. It's the personal size, it's a Franklin Covey. You have seen this in my 2019 planner lineup. You have seen it in other What's In My Bag videos. And it's here. It's still chunky. It's still fat. It still holds a lot of papers. And it will never change. Anyways, let's move on to the last thing that I have in this bag. You see that pouch? This is also a glittery pouch but the glitters won't fall off. So this is why it's in my bag, because otherwise it wouldn't be here. Um, it's a pink sort of glittery pouch. I got it from Accessorize some time ago and I still remained in it. This is my walking pharmacy. It was with me during the holidays. It's with me at work. It's with me wherever you want it to be. And as I say in all the What's in my bag videos, this is the one that will win if this does not fit in the bag. It's not this one which is gonna change, but the bag. So it fitted perfectly in my Tad Baker bag. So the bag remained and this remained. And I'm happy because I fit everything in the bag. So this is, I think, the largest tote bag that Ted Baker had with this design and of this type. And as I said, I wish they were a little bit more flexible, but there's no choice. 
I still love them, however. I still love the bag. I still love the fact that I could fit everything and it's not that easy that I fit in a bag, but I did fit in this. Um, that one over there is a little bit more smaller than this one. Um, so I did use this one as my main bag while that was used um, quite a lot as a secondary bag while I was at work. Um, what I would have also liked for these bags is having a sort of a closure mechanism um, where the bag could be closed through, I don't know, maybe a zipper or a button or a snap or something because having a bag which is uh, open on top is not that much secure. Someone might steal something from you or uh, you might easily have people that might want to see what's in your bag, which is not through a video. Um, so this is why many of the times I have a scarf on top of the bag. So that is a good trick that can keep your security and can also keep a bit of privacy from other people that want to see what you have in the bag. So I hope that you have liked this video. I hope that I have managed to give you a little bit of a review about these Tad Baker bags. Um, if I had to go back, I would still be purchasing them and I am very happy because I got pink bags, flowery bags, decorated bags and this beautiful bow on this bag here is what I like the most. So until the next video, take care. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video and to hit the notification bell for more videos. Um, until the next one, take care. Bye.